Here's the real estate market update for the Wenatchee Valley for May 2022. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and interest rates are on the rise, and they predict interest rates are going to continue to rise. And so how is that affecting our real estate marketplace? Well, the information's in and sales actually went down 1%. So we've seen a slight impact in overall closed sales last month and overall for this year, we're down 16%. So the number of homes actually making it to the finish line is 16% fewer than it was last year. Now, what usually when sales go down, inventory goes up and you've heard the headlines for the last two years about low inventory well inventory is actually on the rise inventory went up 63 percent from last month so that's a huge gain that's lots of opportunity for people to go i know a lot of homeowners that we work with are ready to sell their homes but they didn't have a place to go well now there's great opportunity for them to find a quality home so that they can sell at a top market and, and downsize to a home that's a better fit. We think inventory is gonna to continue to rise. I'm gonna get into detail on, on what price ranges are the hottest and where we're seeing a seller's market become a buyer's market. Now the average sales price or the home value hasn't been impacted by interest rates. In fact, experts that work for Freddie and Fannie Mac that work for larger corporations, uh, e economists are predicting that home values are gonna go up 9% this year. Now that's down from 21% earlier before interest rates went up, but they're gonna continue to go up. So if you think there's gonna be a reprieve on values, that's not gonna happen, right? And we're seeing that right now. The average sales price went up 31% last year. I mean, the average sales price is $573,000. So if you own a home, good news, you have more equity than you've ever had before. So that's a great that's a great thing. You're probably wondering, well, what am I gonna do with that equity? If I sell, where am I gonna go? Well, look at inventory. As inventory rises, you're gonna see lots of different opportunities. Now that 31%, you're gonna start seeing that trend down to 9% um, unless something else happens. This is a really interesting thing. Homes are selling for less than asking price. You've heard the headlines that homes are selling for 50, 60, 100, $200,000 over list price. Well, those are just one-off situations. Last year, 2021, homes sold on average for 1% more than asking price. So if you listed your home at a million dollars, you got a million and $10,000. Well, this year, homes are selling for 99% of asking price. So pricing your home, knowing exactly what it's worth in today's marketplace is more important than ever because if you overprice your home, I guarantee it will sit and you will have to be forced to make a price reduction. So pricing homes is absolutely important. What we found is homes between $400,000 and $500,000 represent the bell curve of homes being sold. That is still a seller's market. That's low inventory. So when you hear the stories about homes going over list price, multiple offers, that's still the case today if you have the right marketing, those that's about 1.9 months of inventory. That's a seller's market. A balanced market is about six months. Anything over six months becomes a buyer's market. So homes between $1 million and $2 million throughout Wenatchee Valley, there's 9.6 months of inventory, which means it's a buyer's market. And so we've seen an influx of high-end and luxury homes hitting the marketplace because they're they're looking to take advantage of the appreciation and sell their homes now also a lot of the homeowners want to build a new home so we're seeing this trend of homeowners with big big homes realize they don't need these big homes and downsizing the homes they're typically in the 4,000 square feet to 6,000 square feet range, right? They're about a million dollars. Maybe they're $2 million in Wenatchee Valley. They sell that home and they move down to a 2,400 square foot Rambler for $600,000, $800,000, right? They then take that money and pay cash. So interest rates really aren't impacting them at all. The single most important thing that homeowners need to know in today's marketplace is how much their home is worth and how much it's going to be worth when they're ready to sell in the future. If you wanna know how much equity you have in your home, give us a call, reach out to us, click on the link to learn more about the market update. Our team will come over and give you a no cost 
uh, no obligation home value report so you know exactly how much equity you have in your home savings equity account. We'll also outline and show you if capital gains are going to impact you. See, homeowners are subject to capital gains, but there's ex exceptions to that rule. But for people selling their homes in the million, two million dollar range, you may be subject to capital gains. We're gonna help you navigate those waters and calculate those fees as well. So this is the market update for May 2022. Look for our new market updates as they come out in the future.